Hello everybody, Blue Fence here with Say the Potato Red with me as you can hear. Right, as you can see right in front of us. Or oh, yeah, right in front of us. I know I'm the one talking, but Potato Red's just a bit of a chicken, so we're not we won't go there, we're not, I'm not gonna force him. But as you can see, right in front of us is his fire kit. Yeah, this is his fire kit. This is not mine, as you know. There's my fire kit, as you all know. You've all seen it before. If not, I'll leave a link in the corner so you lot can all take out, take, so you all can go and check it out. Right. To start off with, as you can see in my hands here, is a pocket fire kit I built. I built these all the time. I've got I don't know twenty of them, I think. So I gave one to him. So this is his one. So yeah. So we won't go for that. If you want to see that, I'll leave another link. Up in the corner as well if you want to see that check that out right here with cordage i know it sounds stupid but it's cordage yes don't get me wrong but this is the titan type stuff from china the phone's still not gonna focus so you have to take my word for it this one here has the tinder the copper wire fishing line Normal cordage, normal the normal seven strand cordage, as well as a stitching line, I think it's called. So where you stitch yourself back together. So yeah, it's good stuff. And I think he has twenty five feet. I think so. Yeah, twenty five feet. Yeah, twenty five feet he has. So yeah, this is the piece I've got off mine because. We were going to attach it to his ferro rod, but because it took too much space, we didn't. So yeah, that's that. Right, and here, yeah, as you can see, it's an EDC gear container. And there's glow in the dark tape at the bottom. We are going to be putting some cordage on this today, because I know him, he will lose it. And in here, as you can see, it's been used. Is what he calls strike anywhere matches I don't I don't like them personally but everybody's different and I'm not going to force him to go out and think buy things what I what I prefer over him he's the one using it and this is the stuff is that's what he likes to use that's what he likes to use so that's them All right let's go into the most gritty big pieces of kit now as you can see it's not a big fire kit it's not a big kit it's half the size of mine doesn't mean that I know less than what he does it's just that he don't really I don't think it's cross he's not finished put it that way there's pieces in in, in this in, the, in his book sack what I know he carries in his book sack as well as what he carries here so yeah right in the front in the mesh palm compartment is a webtex web ferro rod so yeah, it's a good little fail rod, but it's just a backup, really. What I like, what he's picked, is a clipper lighter. I like that. Because you can take that piece out, and you can still spark it, as you can see. And you can still light things up with that, just that. And when you need it, you can still use it, as you can see. It still works. He's not going to pull a band around the, out the outside or a piece of wire, because the thing is, he would use this before he would use... His fellow rod, so but that's his choice. As I said, the only thing I would say to him to suggest is take that label off. So yeah, that's his clipper. Yeah, as I said, guys, it's a new way of me doing things, so please take it easy with me. Right in the back here, he has these big matches. What's got? I don't know. It's like a fire start, I think. I think these are the ones that burn for about three or four minutes, or maybe longer, if I'm mistaken. I think he has, I think it's four, or it might be two, so I don't know. I have to see about that. Sorry about that, guys. Dopey Dog now actually decided to play with a toy. So, yeah, oops, that's just one on the floor, never mind. We'll take that up in a minute. Same again, as a little bit of fat wood, and I'll give him some of these lamp wicks. He wanted to carry some candles, but he's got no small enough candles at the moment to put in his kit, so he has to get some. And if you can recommend anything you need to add, please do. Because then it will help me out a lot. Right, that's all what's in the back of this one. That's all in there. 
as you can see, he has a brand new pencil sharpener. Brand spanking new, never been used. So that's a good thing, I think, personally. He has a lovely fur rod, even though I don't really get along with this one. But, as you can see, it still strikes. I know I'm just striking this fur rod, but at the end of the day, everybody's different. You're not going to screw up a fur rod just by striking it. Here's a pocket bellows. Quite a nice one, actually. This is the one I got you. I think so, yeah, I think so. So yeah, let's got that. It's a nice one. Something I know he's never going to use is a Fenzel lens. Never think he would ever use this. I don't see him using it, but it's good to see him have it in the kit, and it would be nice to one day to see him actually trying it out. I might actually do that in the video because I might show him how to do it. So any tips from that, guys? You can please give me, please let him know, and he will be answering all the comments. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Right, he has a char cloth tin. But the thing is, there's no char cloth in it. There's cotton ball, soap vaseline. That's his favourite fire starter. I'm not gonna I, I I agree with him. It's cheap, it's simple, and it's easy to light. So at the end of the day, why not? And in the back of here we have some strike any uh, matches. These are the ones, I think these are his back, I'm, I'm assuming these are the backups, but we'll soon find out. We'll soon find out if, oops, if he opens them or not. I give him this, I guess. I I'm going. I have given him, I think, 10 packets like this. So, yeah. So, that's it, guys. So, it took, took so long. Tell him, tell, tell us what you think of um, Potato Red's fire kit. And tell me what you would add. What would you take away? The only thing I would personally add is probably a bit more Tinder, personally, myself. And maybe, I don't know, a couple of little bits. Maybe a bit of string on that. Um, that's it, really. So, tell me what you think. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. And speak to you soon. Bye, bye, bye.